Good day. Uh, I'm Professor Steve Olivia, Principal and Vice Chancellor of Robert Gordon University, um, and I'd like to welcome you to our summer graduation 2021. It is, of course, a virtual ceremony, which is unfortunate. We would certainly have preferred it uh, to be physical and in-person, but I'm afraid it's just not possible. Nevertheless, I'm really keen to congratulate you and to welcome you to what is a fantastic day. Um, at ceremonies throughout the world this year, uh, there will be words used such as extraordinary, unprecedented, we become familiar with all of those, and of course it has indeed been that sort of year. In many ways though, uh, university staff and students have proceeded as normal in terms of assessments. You've learned, you've sat your assessments, and you've passed, so well done. However, we continue to be challenged, both as staff, students, and as society. And these challenges have not just been severe, but they've been prolonged, and they're still ongoing, even though there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so, while it's been, uh, in one way, a normal year, it's been difficult, but you have done exceptionally well. So, congratulations and well done. So, I, all of our staff, the people who have supported you, your family, friends, salute you. It's your hard work and your determination that has seen you through this year, to the point where you can proudly say that you've graduated from the Scottish University of the Year. So again, well done. It's not, however, just an occasion to congratulate you, but to thank you. You've given us feedback. You've helped us to improve. And ultimately, what you will have done is to help us to emerge stronger from this as well. You've helped to shape the student experience, to refine it, and improvement. And that's what we're all about, constant improvement. The result, of course, is that your university has one of the highest levels of student satisfaction in Scotland and in the UK, and also an outstanding re reputation for graduate employability. So you've gained knowledge while studying at RGU, but knowledge is provisional. It changes constantly. What I hope won't change is your pursuit of it, of new knowledge, your relentless pursuit of it. We've taught you the skills to question question what you learn, to seek answers, but then to move on to find the next questions as well. It's more than just a practice. It's an attitude. It's a state of mind. And we taught you to adopt it, want you to continue using it. And if you do that, you'll be an incredibly valuable as asset to people that you work with or uh, those around you if you're self-employed. Above all, I'd like to leave you with one message, and that it would be to develop nurture and use what I call the curiosity imperative. So ask questions, answer them, improve whatever you're doing, in whatever you're doing. I would, uh, however, like to spare a thought as you graduate for those who have helped you along the way. Um, why not go a step further than just sparing them a thought, though? Contact them, say thank you to them in whatever means you use. Um, However you wish to do it, show your gratitude. I would urge you to do that. Spread a little bit of courtesy and kindness. Uh, and kindness is important in what has, of course, been an extraordinary year. Before I finish, I'd like to pay sincere and deep tribute to our university chancellor, Sir Ian Wood. This will be his last graduation as the titular head of the institution. Throughout his time as chancellor, Sir Ian has conferred thousands of degrees upon our students as well as many honorary graduates. He has been a pivotal figure in RGU initiatives and projects. His guidance and support over the past 16 years have been invaluable to RGU, and we owe him a sincere debt of gratitude for everything he's done for the university. So this marks the end of a remarkable era, but we very much hope that Sir Ian will remain a close friend of, the, of RGU, of our community of staff, students, and alumni. And we now look forward to the future with Dame Evelyn Glennie as our new Chancellor, but with one eye on the past and the lessons that have been learned with Sir Ian at the helm. So with some light at the end of the tunnel for this year, as you embark on the next chapter in your lives, I would once again like to wish you all the very, very best and congratulations for what you have achieved. Thank you and all the best for the future. On behalf of all students, it's our great honour to congratulate the class of 2021. We'd like to thank the Chancellor, the Principal, Board of Governors, Academic Council, Senior University Management and all members of staff at RGU. 
who have guided us through our most challenging times at university and who have adapted in the most inspiring ways to support and enhance our student experience. To our families and friends, we thank you also. We thank you for your love and support. We just could not have done it without you. Today is indeed a remarkable day because it's a day of reflection, reflection of your journey, the challenges, the hurdles, the successes, and of course, what you have achieved today. So please never underestimate the challenges you have overcome and what you're capable of achieving in the future. It is true that these uncertain times have appeared unexpectedly and tried to derail your achievements, but your resilience, your attitude, and the audacity to have hope in such a trying time is what every one of you will and should be remembered for. So dear class of 2021, it is an absolute honor to congratulate you today. I understand the hurdles that you've had to jump, the sleepless nights, the tireless hours spent on coursework and assessments while surviving a global pandemic. All that doesn't matter now. What matters is that you've made it and you're here. Although we have thanked many people today, it's important that as individuals you take a moment to look back with pride on what you have achieved and to realise that you have reached the end of your journey thanks to your dedication and effort throughout your time at RGU. I want to wish you the best of luck for the future. Please dream big and remember what's meant to be won't pass you by. So believe in yourself, challenge your goals and take a moment to reflect on what you've achieved so far. You'll always have a home here at RGU, so please never be a stranger. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for graduates in engineering from RGU for 2021. I'd like to congratulate you all on your studies over the last number of years, four or five years for the undergraduate students and over the last year for the postgraduate students. It's excellent to see so many of you achieving your degrees in these difficult times. I wish we were able to hold the live graduation and I could call out all your names. The pandemic has done all it could to stop us, but you have all succeeded. So well done and best wishes in your future careers. Chancellor, I present to you the graduates of the School of Engineering and I ask that you confer the following awards of the University on them. Adebola Jumok Adewoy, Doctor of Philosophy. Yakubu Balagan. Doctor of Philosophy Adham A. K. Sabra Doctor of Philosophy Manjula Narayanaswamy Master of Research Adideo Christopher Adamoyagan Master of Science Asset Integrity Management Slim Ben Ben Sliman Master of Science Asset Integrity Management Darren Emil Dominic D. Costa Master of Science Asset Integrity Management G. Gattabarki Master of Science Asset Integrity Management Hannah Mary Banks Master of Science Biomedical Technology Amanda Chan Master of Science Biomedical Technology Keel Watson Clark Master of Science Biomedical Technology Gideon Essien Master of Science Biomedical Technology Gemma Geeky Master of Science Biomedical Technology Joseph Ray Jackson Master of Science Biomedical Technology Vivian Necker Michael Master of Science Biomedical Technology Matthew Milne Master of Science Biomedical Technology Gregor Forbes Pittendre Master of Science Biomedical Technology David McGatchy Master of Science Completion and Well Intervention Engineering Ahmed Abaid Thoni Thunai Olshu Kaili Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering Kennedy Antwi Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering 
Vinicius Yuri Ito Castro. Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering. Hi, I would like to say thank you for my family for all the support during these years. Without the support, I cannot uh, finish my course, so thank you very much. Mohamed Umar Farouk, Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering. Joaquim Dialuzalone Zucula, Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering. Girlfriend Anthony Regis, Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering. Rahul Buddha Dev Singha, Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering. Foshios Tejalese, Master of Science Drilling and Well Engineering. Very grateful and excited to be graduating as part of the class 2021. A big thanks to my family, all the lecturers and fellow students for the support and Tarji you for this amazing experience. Timmy Felix Manjiri, Master of Science Engineering. Mraga Mansa Alajal, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Kasper Jonas Sikorski, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Jeremiah Uwarts Eder, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Tyler John Kobayashi, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Ryan John McSweeney, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Alexander Ogen of Weed Obero, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Jar Guide Yugaku Okocha, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Elvis Onapedo, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Eric Tajik Jamalabad, Master of Science Oil and Gas Engineering. Victory Obokparo Agub, Master of Science Petroleum Production Engineering. Sijibomi Sunday Odasanya, Master of Science Petroleum Production Engineering. Onam Jimo Agbor, Master of Science Subsea Engineering. Dionysios Lascaris, Master of Science Subsea Engineering. Pujithor Reddy Mudupula Vemula, Master of Science Well Design and Engineering. Eugene Andrew Murphy, Master of Science Well Design and Engineering. Adidotin Barbatund Oganwale, Master of Science Well Design and Engineering. Chidazi Babatope Yukigbu, Master of Science Well Design and Engineering. Zion Jong, Master of Science Well Design and Engineering. Edward Emilian NI, Postgraduate Diploma Asset Integrity Management. Elizabeth Buswitz, Postgraduate Diploma Drilling and Well Engineering. Foreign Adaya Binti Mode Arif. Postgraduate Diploma Drilling and Well Engineering. Adaya Buzaid. Postgraduate Diploma Petroleum Production Engineering. Colin Donald Struthus. Postgraduate Diploma Professional Studies, Engineering. Samuel Charles Hilary Petrie. Postgraduate Diploma Subsea Engineering. God's Will Uzomanjiaka. Postgraduate Certificate Biomedical Technology. Charles Silas Musa. Postgraduate Certificate Drilling and Well Engineering. Chukwuma Victor Okonji. Postgraduate Certificate Drilling and Well Engineering. Glenn Barry Phillips. Postgraduate Certificate Drilling and Well Engineering. Jackson Ilu, Postgraduate Certificate Engineering. It was very interesting being part of the Robert Gordon University Postgraduate Studies Program and the lecturers were very supportive. Thank you. Hajara Wazila Abakakudi, Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. 
Smail Azazi. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Atahiru Garba. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Thank you, RGU School of Postgraduate Studies. I'm very grateful to share you with my video for my graduation ceremony. Farid Mamadov. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Vishvajit Panjarang Manair. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Chukwamika Johnny Nama. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Jennifer Uche Obio Kuhan. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Stuart Michael Adwire. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Anuapogena Lucky Omokarpu. Postgraduate Certificate Oil and Gas Engineering. Effiong Dubra Joseph. Postgraduate Certificate Petroleum Production Engineering. Oganethaja Monday Umutine. Postgraduate Certificate Research Methods. Florence Anum Aswani. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Idris Abdullahi Hashim. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Congratulations to myself. I'm so proud that I made it. I'm so proud to achieve a milestone in my life. So that's a great achievement. Nusha Hira Binti Comis. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Havel Rostam Kuka Hawes. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Sonny Mohamed Lawal. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Evans Ogun. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Obina Franklin Okoli. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Peter Uloho Osain. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Ebikapai Pareta Mode. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Stuart John Frederick Ford Ramage. Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Louise Cook. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. Ethan Yi Hung Fong. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. Cameron Can Leslie. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. Fikrit Kanozen Lee. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. Cameron Stout. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Engineering. Hamish Alistair Gillies. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Dimitri Grudin. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Fraser William Paul. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Edward Alexander Watson. Master of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Jack Beaton. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Sean Brian Bruce. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Michelle Pietro Cabrelli Richardson. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Ryan Chuang Ming Chan. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Jay Cook. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Austin Cordina. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Jordan Rafael Corona. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Matthew Ralph Craig. Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Michael John Dow. 
Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Jack Derkaz Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Jake Alexander Duthi Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Matthew Davidson Duthi Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Oluato Baron Eniolude Farleye Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Lewis Forsyth Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Cameron Fraser Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Jabin George Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Keela Scott Brian Jerry Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Matthew Sid Goodyear Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Conrad Graf Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Kieran David Henderson Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Michael Holland Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Niall Robert Innes Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Nicholas Lynch Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Lyle McKenzie Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Callum McLeod Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Ian Cameron McLeod Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Jonathan David Marples Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Callum John Moore Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Thomas Harry Mullen Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Nathan Foster Murray Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Stuart Mustard Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Jack Craig Nickel Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Murray Laird Patterson Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Sabi Rahman Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Ewan John Ritchie Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Samuel James Steele Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Emmett Strachan Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Stanley Sung Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Liam Cameron Thompson Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Campbell John Tuff Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Sam Ward Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Conan Ryan Webster Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Ryan William Wisely Master of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Sholin Shoji Abraham Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honours Abdullah H. A. Ahmed Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honours Ali H. A. A. M. Ahmed Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honours Lawson Alexander Ma Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honours Ben McKellar Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honours Kyle Scott Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honours Robin John Thalakotu Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honours 
Callum Wiggins. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering Honors. Haran Rabe. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Engineering Honors. Craig Scott. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Engineering Honors. Ryan Michael Freak. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering Honors. MD Haikul Shazli bin Mahatha. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering Honors. David Joe McPherson. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering Honors. Alexander Allen. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Alexander Charles Brockman. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. John Robert Michael Bruce. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Christopher Dunbar. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Thomas Duncan. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Cameron Dunn. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Malcolm Douglas Gaskin. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Vineet Campbell. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Alan Michael Laying. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Anthony Ian Lambert. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Ryan McIntosh. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Innes McKay. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Ryan James McMurray. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Scott Nisbet. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Xavier Perez Requibertes. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Cameron Ritchie. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Jamie William Sturrock. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Cameron William Watt. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Elliot Willits. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering Honors. Liam Robert George Bowers. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Stephen George Gilchrist. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Ross William Gunning. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Benedict Michael Kent. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Ewan George McPherson. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Jamie Neil Mitchie. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Greg Rennie. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Sayoraz Peter Shaw. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Kevin James Smart. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Stuart Grant Turriff. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Ryan Stewart Westland. Bachelor of Engineering Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Andrew Richard Beale. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. John Ubich Black. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Christopher Richard Daniels. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Liam Sweeney Justice. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. 
Jegor as Christoph Kozlowski. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Andrew Allen Morgan. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Richard John Slay. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Rebecca Wiley. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Kaz Yates. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical and Offshore Engineering. Paul James Innes. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Louis Menai. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Victor SZ CSI. Bachelor of Engineering Mechanical Engineering. Jordan James Buchan. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Jack Conn. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. David William Cribbs. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Hamish Robert David Hamilton. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Stefan Innes. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Eddie Lewis Johnston. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Kimberly Megan Leaf. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Nicholas Stambuck. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electronic and Electrical Engineering. It's been a pleasure and an honor studying RGU. I wish my colleagues and classmates all the best in their new endeavors. To the class of 2021, congratulations to us all. Ashley Barr. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Scott Samuel Cochran. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Ross Petter Goddard. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Ryan Legg. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Ross Allen Mitchell. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Kiana Luke Patterson. Diploma of Higher Education Mechanical Engineering. Samuel Telfer. Diploma of Higher Education Mechanical Engineering. Anthony McLaren. Certificate of Higher Education Electronic and Electrical Engineering. Alexander McGrath. Certificate of Higher Education Mechanical Engineering. First of all, I need to tell you this will be my last graduation speech as your Chancellor. I very much enjoyed the role for 17 years and particularly graduating over 25,000 students, which seems an awful lot, and having the opportunity to talk to you all. On a broader front, I've also thoroughly enjoyed my contact and involvement with the university, having worked with five principals over that period of time. The university has changed hugely. We now have one of the finest campuses in Scotland. We've developed to become one of the top one of of the top one or two new universities in Scotland, and there's been significant positive evolution in the number of courses now in offer, with of course a focus on environment and the new energies. Aberdeen itself has changed substantially. Oil and gas was very dominant when I became Chancellor in 2004, and it has continued to serve the North East of Scotland well, but is now clearly beginning to show signs of depletion with the new energies on and offshore wind, hydrogen, and carbon capture and storage now coming to the fore. I very much enjoyed meeting and spending some time with our honorary graduates, 
people like Terry Waite, Sir Ronald Fiennes, Dennis Law, Dame Catherine Granger, Nicola Benedetti, Rachel Corsi, Stuart McBride, and Dame Evelyn Glenny, among many others, which we are now proud to have as our honorary graduates. And we've had many VIP visits during my time, among the recent ones, the opening of the Serene Wood Building by Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal in 2015, Prince Harry's visit in 2016 to learn more about street sport, and the President of Mexico's visit in 2017 to learn more about RGU's work with the energy sector. During the 17 years, RGU has received many awards and accolades. A gold rating in the Teaching Excellence Framework, placing us in the top 20% of the best universities in the UK for the quality of our undergraduate teaching and learning. We've been awarded the best modern university in the UK. We've consistently been near the top of the graduate employment record across the UK. We've been at the forefront of introducing graduate apprenticeships and startup innovation accelerator. And now we have our own Energy Transition Institute. RGU was involved in the launch of the National Subsea Centre in 2020. And right up to date, RGU was named um, Scottish University of the Year by the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide. I'm also delighted that I'm being succeeded as Chancellor by Dame Evelyn Glenny. I've known her for a long time. She's a great lady, uh, and I know she'll, um, as well as being a, a great world-class percussionist, I know she'll be an extremely able and um, valuable Chancellor. So, to your graduation. My warmest congratulations to all of you for successfully graduating in what has been a surreal an exceptionally difficult period, both for you and for the university. Please don't in any way let that detract from your achievements on this proud and exciting Red Letter Day. We're recognising the huge amount of work you've done, you've all done to get your degrees. Many congratulations to you all and to the many proud mums and dads, families and friends out there proudly helping celebrate your success. I've always included in my speech some general advice intended to help you as you chart your career and your life ahead, and I feel this final speech shouldn't be an exception. So firstly, in this incredible challenge of change world, you must be constantly proactive to new approaches and ideas. Completely out of the blue, and hopefully coming to an end, is the huge COVID-19 pandemic challenge. I certainly hope the biggest health challenge that your generation will face. Certainly it's by far the biggest one that my generation has faced. Secondly, we have the transformational impact of digital technology, which is changing so many aspects of our lives. If continuous change and improvement are not at the forefront of your thinking, frankly, you're almost certainly going backwards. Standing still equals complacency, which is a bad destination and a real danger to you not realising your potential. Thirdly, don't assume it's a fair world out there. Bill Gates speaks of 11 life unfairness rules, which should be compulsory for young people. Just one example, rule number 10, be nice to nerds. Chances are you'll end up working for one. So don't get indignant. Don't lose the place when you come up against the world's injustices, of which there are many. Be pragmatic. Plan and work your way through the real world as it is, warts and all. Don't waste your time recriminating on the what-ifs of the past. Concentrate on the what-ifs of the future as you work your way towards realising your full potential. Fourthly, don't be a spectator. Most of the things that have gone wrong in this world have gone wrong because good people stood by and let them happen. The great explorer, Ernest Shackleton, defined optimism as moral courage. I urge you to be morally courageous. Be a maker, be a doer, be a creator, or whatever. Don't just sit back and criticise, because that's far too easily, and frankly, should be way beneath you. As from today, you are no longer a spectator. You have graduated into the real world and are now endorsed and engaged as a player. There's a very wise saying, inside many an old person is a young person asking what happened. What have I done with my life? Don't be that person. Fifthly, don't be afraid to make mistakes and don't fear failure. 
I've lost count of the number of mistakes I've made in my business career. The key thing is to recognize them quickly and rectify them. Don't ever hide from your mistakes. You'll just compound them. Some failure in life is inevitable, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Sixthly, think global. Some of the biggest problems we are currently facing in our country, the economic financial challenges, COVID-19, the availability of energy, climate change, and the threat of terrorism, these are all global and need global solutions. And Scotland, or whatever country you come from, is not the centre of the world. Our world has no centre. It's a matrix of countries, religions, ethnic groups, and cultures. Seventhly, although global business is highly competitive, you absolutely don't need to compromise on your principles and ethics. Ethical business practice and corporate social responsibility is a key part of Robert Gordon University. Don't ever in business sacrifice your self-respect or your integrity. Penultimately, when you've chosen, go for it. Don't ever underestimate your own potential. It's incredible what the human spirit can do if you really believe in yourself and set your sights high. Right now you're focused on getting a good job and taking the next step in your life. But each of you should have a dream based on ambitious goals, well in excess of your reasonable expectations. Really challenge your aspiration and don't let cannot dominate your vocabulary. I was Wood Group's first employee in the oil and gas industry in 1970. I set off with energy and zeal, but frankly not at all sure where I was going or how I might get there. When I retired from Wood Group, now nine years ago, it employed 43,000 people working in 50 countries around the world. You can climb mountains and cross wide seas. And finally, in this very troubled world, be responsible, caring and tolerant. Our planet and its different inhabitants, whether God or science made, is truly an incredible miracle. If you have any doubt, just watch a David Attenborough Blue Planet series or the Brian Cox Planet programs. The truth is, we are unbelievably privileged to have time here. What is quite unforgivable is that our lack of tolerance of race and creed and our inability to balance wealth and well-being are abusing that privilege and possibly irretrievably damaging our ecosystem and our children's future. Different religions, races and cultures must be prepared to live together and support each other in a generally more caring and tolerant society. And lastly, I'm going to tell you something you may not want to hear. In the context of the global world we live in, you are very privileged. Your intelligence, your talents, your capacity for hard work, the excellent education you've earned and received gives you unique status and unique responsibilities. To whom much is given, much is expected. And the way you live your lives, the values you adopt, the example you set, all will have an impact way beyond your borders. With privilege comes responsibility, and I urge you to discharge it altruistically and caringly. If you choose to use your status and influence to raise your voice on behalf of those who don't have a voice, if you choose to identify not only with the powerful, but also with the powerless, if you retain the ability to imagine yourself into the lives of those who don't have, who don't have your advantages, then you could achieve great things with the power to change our world for the better. Once again, we're really sorry you've been unable to enjoy a normal graduation experience, but don't underestimate the importance of this day. This is your day, a very important day in your lives, and the opportunity is now open to you. Please enjoy a well-earned celebration with your family and friends, and let my final words as Chancellor be to tell you, you are the future, and I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you very much.